big week this week in uh, in sports. It's actually uh, what time is it right now? It's ten forty three, and this is the funny thing: in seventeen minutes, the World Cup final is starting, which is basically the championship. One of the true championships of the world. It's the entire world competes for it. And as big a fucking sports fan as I am, I, I could give a shit. The only thing that I would find less interesting than the World Cup final was the LeBron James hour-long press conference to announce what team he's going to fucking go to. You know, that's actually bullshit. I, I totally respect the game of soccer. It just it fucking bores the shit out of me. And uh, we have a number of soccer fans on here, and they send me emails, and they get mad at me. They say, it says, Dear Bill, dude, until you have a better understanding of the game, you got to stop ragging on soccer. Find someone that knows a little bit about the game and take some fucking time and watch a couple of games, dude. Watch the World Cup finals. Uh, exclamation point. What, because you fucking say so? Um, do you realize that if you added up everyone that watched the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, and MLB, you would only have about half as many people that watch soccer? Dude, do you realize that I'm not so fucking stupid that I don't realize that you just pulled that stat out of your ass? Give me some numbers. You didn't. You said you would have about half as many. About, really? Yeah, you're going to guesstimate there? Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Bill. Thanks, dude. All right. This is the deal. All right. I'm so sick of these fucking soccer cunts trying to convince me that it's an, an exciting sport. Do you think that I haven't sat down and watched it? Earlier this year when I watched the Olympics, I got into curling. I was watching the cross-country skiing where you shoot the gun. I'm very open-minded when it comes to sports, okay? But to sit there and kill two, three fucking hours of my day to watch a zero-to-zero zero fucking game and watching these guys flop around like a bunch of goddamn Pau Gasols every ten fucking minutes, it's... it's. I tried, dude. I tried. And just because the whole fucking world is watching the sport doesn't mean that I should. All right? The whole world was wearing acid-washed jeans in the late fucking 80s. I followed that trend. And I got the embarrassing goddamn pictures to prove it. Where the fuck did that get me? You know what I like about soccer? I like the highlights. The highlights, you know, and they show it in slow motion. Absolutely gorgeous sport to watch. But to sit there for fucking two hours listening to those goddamn mosquito horns, you're really asking too much. All right, everybody flopping around like a bunch of goddamn fucking girls. Get off the goddamn ground, fucking pussies. The guy doesn't even touch you, and you flop around on the ground. It's so effeminate. That's what I can't stand about that sport. You know? This guy did bring up a good point. He goes, you're telling me the basketball players? Yes, basketball players do. Basketball is a very fucking effeminate sport when it comes to that shit. That fake fucking flopping around. You know? No other, you know, that's the closest thing. I'm trying to think. There's a couple guys in the NHL. Look, there's always going to be a couple of broads in every sport, you know. But at least in, in, in the NHL, soccer fan, you know what they have? They have a penalty for pretending that somebody hit you. Two minutes, you get it's called diving. Two minutes for diving. Get up, you fag, and get in the goddamn penalty box. I was, I don't know. I, I Dude, I tried. I fucking tried. I tried to watch the shit. I don't give a fuck. Um, I find the Premier League way more enjoyable to watch. I can watch that game, but I got to tell you, like, I don't know what it is. I start to get a headache and I get a little bit of a stomach ache when I'm watching it because the amount of effort that I have to put in to, you know, dude, to sit there in, in, in two hours of your fucking life to watch a one to nothing game. That's why, you know, so I think I finally figured out why they fight in NHL hockey. Because you can actually have a one to nothing fucking game. So, you know, then you, you basically have guys going. It's legal to smash somebody, you know, against the boards. You can drop the gloves. You can fight. There's a lot of other exciting things that, that, that do happen. All right? But to sit there for two fucking hours. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Oh. 
It's the sports equivalent to fucking blue balls. I don't fucking like it. I, I really don't. I, I just don't. I don't like it. I don't fucking like it, okay? And you can't make me fucking like it because the whole world likes it. All right? There's, there's, there's a, a major part of the fucking world that, you know, they, they take out a high-grade piece of sandpaper and then they, they, they rub the girl's fucking clits off. That doesn't mean that I think it's right. Wow, that was really disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 12 minutes into the podcast, getting that fucking gross. I should have saved that towards the end for the diehard fans. Um, so anyways, uh, that LeBron James announcement, um, speaking of mind-numbingly boring. Um, oh, this is another thing about fucking soccer. Like, I'm invited to this 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 party where they're going to watch the finals. And whenever you find a, a person who's really into soccer, you know, yeah, they always got, like, the, their little soccer shirt on. They They always have, like, these little fucking wimpy torsos. Have you noticed that? When was the last time you saw somebody jacked that was into fucking soccer? You don't. They always have like those little fucking, those little European torsos. You know? Your little seventh grade bodies. Does anybody lift weights or do push-ups or anything in fucking Europe? Do you just, you just take the torso God gave you and then you just start stuffing fish and chips down your fucking throat and you just let it all sort of slide down until you look like Jethro Tull? Um, 